Shinna, Shinna, everybody. Hello, hello. I am here with another tasting. Today we have something a little different. Today is Friday, so it's Fritos Meats, and usually what that means is people will get candies and snacks and sodas and beers and whatever, and they'll enjoy it. Usually on Friday evening, it's a little early, as you can see, the sun's still out. But we're going to go ahead and we'll try them now because we have light. But usually, just I think the sun's starting to go down now at like... Four o'clock, I guess, something like that. Um, it's probably pitch black by it's pitch black by four o'clock, which is kind of like shocking coming from Florida and the sun's always up in the air. But anyways, let's get on to the tasting. So today I have a couple of things that I've um, never seen before. The brand of which I've seen before. We'll start off with the first. Actually, yeah, we'll start off with this first. So this. Pringles we have in America, of course, but I've never seen this flavor. It's extra kickin' sour cream and onion. So it looks like there's chili, and it's, um, yeah, extra kickin' sour cream and onion. So it's a little different. It's nothing in a tube this time. Well, actually, it is in a tube, but a different kind of tube. But this is an intense experience by Pringles, and it's the extra kickin' sour cream. So... They smell amazing. They smell like cheese. Very cheddar-y. You don't know it's sour cream and onion. They smell good. They smell like sour cream and onion. So we'll go ahead. We'll just try one and we'll see what happens. I don't see any like spices on it. Or, um, or any like, you know, like specks of pepper or anything. It just looks like a normal Pringles. We'll go ahead and try it. My husband said, you don't taste the spice at first, it kind of creeps up on you towards the end. Initially, I taste a little heat. It's pretty spicy, but it's really, really good. It's got a nice balance, but it definitely, definitely has a lot of heat to it, which is nice. Sometimes things, it says it's going to be hot, but it's it's not hot, and it's kind of a bummer. I like hot stuff, so. I'm just trying to see what kind of pepper it has. It says it's in chili, or it looks like it's chili on there, but it doesn't really say. Or I can't read it, but... Anyways, um, yeah, so that is uh, Pringles, and if you have it in America, try it. It's pretty cool. I think it's fun to see different flavors that I've never seen this in America, so if they don't have it, come here and try it. But it's extra kicking sour cream and onion. Pringles. I think this is a standard size. It's 175 grams. I think it looks like the, like the, the, the normal height of a Pringles can that they have in America. But, uh, yeah, that was really good. Next, I have a crazy soda that I've never seen before. This is also a Swedish classic. It's called, um, Adrian said it was uh, Tropicado, I think it was it's called. So it's just a little tiny bottle. These are, these are so cute, these, these little bottles. Um, it's a, like I said, it's a Swedish classic. I believe it, it says it's, uh, it has apple juice in it. And uh, citrus flavoring, I guess, maybe? Something. Citrus syrup, water, sugar, caffeine. The normal stuff. Except for no high fructose corn syrup because they do not have that here in Sweden. So I'll go ahead and put some beer in that some earlier. Okay, so we'll go ahead and try this. So it smells like a Sprite. Like that lemon limey. Sprite or 7-Up. And it was open because Adrian wanted to drink some. So let's go ahead and pour it. It's got a nice, you can see the, a very nice uh, soda sound. And it comes from Sweden. I don't know where in Sweden, but it's from Sweden. But yeah, it's so cute. And I don't, I don't even know how big milliliters I guess I don't know oh it's 300 and or 33 centiliters so 
so there's that. Smells like Seven Up. Doesn't taste like Seven Up. Tastes like um. Well, it kind of tastes like apple juice, Seven Up, and carbonated water. So if 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 they had a Seven Up that was apple flavored or apple flavored Seven Up, I think this is what it would taste like. And uh, it's a lot sweeter, I think, than Seven Up. Tastes a lot sweeter. It's got 9.5 grams of sugar, 9.6 grams of carbohydrates, and uh, yeah. But yeah, it's not bad. It's called Tropicado. So if you're here in Sweden and you're from America, try it. It's pretty good. It's just like an apple flavored. To me, it tastes like an apple flavored Seven Up. To a Swedish person, I'm sure it wouldn't taste like that. I'm sure they have their own idea. Okay. The next thing for Frida Smith, I would I usually get for Frida Smith is I like chips and a soda or like a Coke Zero and a thing of Pringles. That's usually what, and ice cream during the summer. Um, but that's usually what I like on my Friday nights. What my husband likes and what all a lot of typical Swedish people like is their um, bag of mixed candy. So I'm just gonna pour it out on the plate here so you can kind of get an idea of. You know, he, a lot of the stuff is his favorites. Everybody has their own favorites. Um, I don't like a lot of things he likes, and uh, he likes everything. So, but I'm just going to pour this out so you can kind of get an idea of some of the different mixed candies they have. And this is very typical, by the way. All the grocery stores, corner stores, most every store you go into that sells food is going to sell mixed candy. And it's insanely, insanely cheap. I mean, it's this is a... Yeah, it's, it's 79 crowns per kilo, so that's like, it's, it's so much cheaper than American mixed candy, and you can't even really find mixed candy in America, they don't really do it, when they do do it, it's really expensive and it's not very good. This is insanely popular here, um, it's a really, really big thing, I think they typically eat this on Saturday, not on Peter Smith, but we'll go ahead and we can kind of see. Turn it up a little bit so you can. Okay, and there's a lot here. It's a big, big, that was a big bag. <laughs> it's the biggest bag we've got in a while. Like, there's an apocalypse or something. He needed this much candy, so. Um, yeah, there's, oh, I'll pan over here so you can kind of see, there's like all different stuff. So I'm not going to sit here and try all of this candy. I figured I'd try just a few pieces and show you a couple different things that are really Swedish things I don't normally see in America. Um, this is, is really, really popular. It's called 88, and I don't really know how to explain it, but it's, it's really good. Um, it's, it's got chocolate and I would, I think is like some kind of like toasted nut over the top of it. Um, they actually just started making an ice cream bar that was, uh, 88 flavored, which is excellent. It's really, really good. So I'll go ahead and show you what this looks like. And yeah, it just it smells like a toasted peanuts over the top. And it's got like a chocolate nougat on the inside, and it's fantastic. Really, really good. It's really sweet. Probably not something good to have a soda, but it's really, really sweet, and it's, it's really excellent. Another thing they have, um, they do like, when they do their mixed candy, they have, you know, you can get stuff like this, styles like this, you can get the... Gummy, this is a gummy, it looks like a Ferrari, I think it's a Ferrari, the gummy Ferrari. They have their skulls with their half and half, those are pretty popular. These are giant like marshmallows, but it's fizzy pop 
Luke says he's soda flavored marshmallow. Here's another marshmallow. I do all kinds of crazy marshmallows, which is really, really cool. These, I have not seen these since I was a kid, and I was so excited when I saw them. These are something similar to America, and I'm sure you'll know, you'll recognize it. And Adrian really likes this too. Remember these when we were kids? It's like an old fashioned candy. They're the clear ones. Here's another one. I don't know if anybody remembers these. But I love these. When I saw it, I was like, oh my god, we have to get those. They're just so, so yummy. So good to have. And these, I don't know what these are, but he really, really likes these. So we're not sure. Maybe we'll try one of those. I don't know. We'll see. This is, um, these have alcohol in them, he said. This looks like it says it has rum. And I don't know what this one says. I don't know what that is. But this one looks like it says it has rum in it. So that was kind of cool. Uh, these are extremely popular. This is like excellent. It's it's fizzy, it's sour, and they actually do drinks, like alcoholic drinks you can get that taste like this. And they'll put these inside of the drink, which is really, really cool. And then this we have in America, I think, Kinder. We have that in America. These I've seen in America. The seashells, the Belgian chocolate seashells. This I thought was really adorable. It's like a chocolate heart with M&Ms in it or something. I always thought it was cute. This is extremely popular too, this kind of gummy. Adrian loves these. Well, oh, his favorite, the peace sign. Disgusting. It's raspberry licorice with salted licorice. And you can see all this salty powder over the top of it. The first time, when we first got together, he's like, try this, you have to try this. And I took a bite of it, not knowing what the heck to expect, and it made me so sick. It was horrible, and since then, I, I, that's all I can think about when I look at those things. Here's another one, double salted. How and why? I just don't understand it. Here's another one, salted, and it looks like strawberry, maybe. They're so big on their salted candy. And it, and, it, and it looks so deceiving. It looks like it's just going to be like maybe some sugar powder over it, or it's just going to be sour or something. And it's 125% not. It is very, very deceiving sometimes. These are fantastic. These are my favorite. They're called Polly. They have a milk chocolate and a dark chocolate. And all it is, it's kind of like a marshmallow and chocolate over the top. Very simple, very good. These are good. They're called refreshers. It says it's made in England. It's like um kind of like it reminds me of like a pink lemonade type candy with like a powder inside, like a sour powder. Something like that. And they're hard. They're like taffy kind of. It's those are fantastic. Wonderful, wonderful candies. But yeah, I guess we can... Oh, these are pretty. These are pretty good. This is like a sweet, they call it red licorice, sweet licorice, or gummy. So here's a sweet licorice with maybe banana in the middle. Something like that. Here's your standard, just regular gummies. Wine gummies, they call them. Here's another wine gummy. Let's see, is there anything else cool in here? Or is it all scary? It's all going to be scary, man. Don't do it. So let's go ahead and we'll try one of these things that he he really likes. He says are his favorite. So I don't know what it is. I pray to God it's not salty. I don't think it is. So we'll go ahead and try that. It's white. I don't smell anything. tastes like something I've had before. It almost tastes like mint and gum, but it's not gum, it's falling apart in my mouth, so I'm assuming it's like a taffy. So it's kind of minty, but it's kind of like a Mentos or something. I don't know. I've had this before, not this before, but something similar. But it's really good, very refreshing. Very nice. I like that. 
And I, I have my pile over here. Those are my my bites pile that I'll keep for later. But really strong monkey. But it's uh, it's really good. So your typical free death meat. We have candy, soda, and chips. Happy Friday, y'all. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. And if you know anything that you want me to try or something crazy you want me to look for, don't forget to tell me. Um, and if you have any crazy comments or, or anything funny, just write it, let me know. And if you have any questions, write them, let me know too. Thanks, have a great day, and I'll show you one more picture. All of the candies. So many. I will probably get eaten in one day if I don't hide them from my husband. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.